Shortly after I took office, I learned that our prison system was growing at a fairly rapid rate. In fact, we were incarcerating people at a much higher rate than some of our surrounding states. And as we looked at those who were being incarcerated, we found increasingly that they were for nonviolent offenses. They were drug crimes, alcohol crimes, uh, petty theft, things that, that were not presenting a danger to the population. Now, we understood that the most important thing that South Dakota can do is protect the public. Safety first has to be our mantra. And so as we address this issue, we establish three goals. First, keep the public safe, safety first. Second, hold offenders accountable. And thirdly, save money. So we worked throughout uh, a spring, summer, and fall to create a package of legislative changes that would reform our criminal justice system and provide alternative sentencing that still holds these nonviolent offenders accountable but hold our prisons available for the violent offenders and the chronic career criminals. And the criminal justice reform package passed with bipartisan, uh, overwhelming support, and it's being put into place. It'll take probably three or four years before we can see the complete impact that it's having. But already we're seeing some dividends in the form of improved public safety, holding offenders accountable, and saving money.